Confucius once said, being with a kind person is like being in a room with Zaydan. If it goes on too long, you won't be able to smell its scent, so you've been beamed to it. Being with a kind person is like being in a salted fish shop, so you won't be able to smell it if it goes on too long. You've also been beamed to it. Carrying a mountain makes it red. Carrying it with fun makes it black. Therefore, a wise man must find someone to live there with him. Window paper smells like perfume. Fish paper smells like fish. There are three kinds of friends. One is a friend like food that you can't miss every day. Two is a friend like medicine that you can only miss once in a while. Three is a friend like sickness that you can't avoid. I don't want to love many people. I hope that one or two people in my life will be a beautiful and fragrant connection that lasts until the day I die. In Go, when you're with someone who likes to study, it's like walking through a fog. Even if your clothes aren't soaking wet, they'll get wetter and wetter. When you're with someone who's ignorant, it's like sitting in a toilet. Even if your clothes aren't soiled, the stench will gradually reek. We're all like the friends we hang out with most. It's better to be alone than with the wrong crowd. If you tell me about my friend, I'll tell you who you are. The best mirror is the old one. You have to be very careful when choosing your friends. There are many people in the world who are like the plague. At first, you don't know what kind of person the other person is. So you think they're all human. But when you wake up, the poison in his body has already taken over your body. If you have nothing to learn and nothing to ask, you will have little knowledge. Confucius said, Anping Shong is good at making friends. She has always been respectful, even after all these years. A best friend is an old friend. Wise men are close, but respectful and insecure, but love. Friends are my gift to myself. Time strengthens friendship and love weakens it. All true love is based on respect. It was better not to speak ill of them behind their backs than to say they liked it outwardly. It was better to pursue long-lasting relationship than one, pursuing the temporary pleasures of one another. People who know each other, who knows what's in the heart when the world is full of them. When it comes to making friends, uh, there's nothing more important than being appreciated. A, a person who has enough friends to say hey to everyone is like a person without any friends. Those who seem like friends aren't usually friends. But those who don't seem like friends are. It's the right thing to do in a relationship. My parents are the ones who gave birth to me. But the catcher is the only one who knows me. When we drink and eat together, we have a thousand friends who say that he is our brother. But when we are in a desperate situation, we have no one to help us. Prosperity makes friends, and adversity tests them. The captive reveals who his true friends are. Do not plant a flower that does not bear fruit. And do not make friends with disloyal people. A person who plants thorns should not expect a rose. Avoid the disloyal. Do not befriend the foolish. 
make wise friends and follow those who are better than you. Friends are common, but the gods of friendship are rare. To have faith in a man is like having wheels on a cart. The relationship between gentlemen is unprecedented. And the relationship between courtiers is sweet like sweet wine. A gentleman does not expect others to adore him. Nor does he expect others to worship him in the capital. Therefore, he is a perfect man. Don't try to con your friends. Don't be dignified. Once you make a friend, try to capture his heart by declining. Not all people who praise you are your friends. It takes a long way to know the power of a horse. It takes a long time to know the heart of a person. You can tell a lot about a man by traveling long distances with a friend and staying in a small inn. The personality of a friend is known only by an old friend. Just as only storms can tell if grass is tough in the wind, it takes years to read a person's mind. The remains said, if the words do not make sense, they do not speak. If you talk too much, you will usually need to make sense. So you will keep them in your heart and not give birth, even if nine out of ten words are right. We don't say it's amazing, but if even one word is wrong, we immediately get criticized. Our lives are defined by the words we use most of the time. Words are our homes. For those who are stable, the words are heavy and quiet. For those who are not stable, the words are light and fast. For the wise man, his words are more shameful than his actions. If one word does not make sense, the first word is meaningless. The most difficult thing is that everyone says what comes out of their mouth without thinking. Those who know don't say, and those who say don't know. The wiser a man is, the simpler. His words are, the more he expresses his thoughts. If it's not the way, don't go. If it's not the horse, don't blame it. If it's not the horse, be kind and gentle. If you play an instrument, it makes a beautiful sound. If you do so, you won't get into trouble. And you'll live peacefully in the world. Prince Payong said, Prophet and Tong are doors to disaster and troubles. They are like axes that destroy your body. Be careful what you say, like holding jade in your hand, like holding a bowl full of water. This is the barrier against loose talk. Sharp words can leave wounds too deep for a physician to heal. To a man, words are like water or fire. Humans can't live without fire and water. But if it's homemade or burned, it's extremely dangerous. If you use it carefully, it won't hurt anyone. Words that benefit a person are as warm as hands. And words that hurt a person are as sharp as thorns. Words that benefit a person are worth thousands of dollars. Words that hurt a person are as painful as cutting them with a knife. A kind-hearted horse can even warm up the cold. Hidden within the horse is a dragon that can kill without making you bleed. A bullet wound can be healed. But a wound made by a man's mouth can never be healed. Two minutes. A return to hurting people. A horse is a tonga cutting sword. So if you block the bow and hide the tongue deep enough, 
comfort will be firmly established wherever it goes. Silence, well toned, is wisdom. It's better than anything else. If you can't control your tongue, you don't know what you're saying. The fish are always reeled in by the mouth. People fall for it with their mouths too. Everyone is born with a comeback in their mouths. A foolish person will talk carelessly and stab himself with the axe. If you meet a person first, your words will be distracted for 10 minutes. But you must not reveal every last bit of your mind. A tiger is not afraid of a bird's mouth. But a man is afraid of two hearts. For a wise man, a single word is enough. Making your words clear is the most certain test of your righteous spirit. No one who speaks passionately ever thinks of bogva. Many words and many thoughts are most harmful to the heart. If you have nothing to do, sit quietly and regroup. If you're facing someone, be careful what you say. Be brief and careful. If you say it after you act accordingly, words can't be anything but brief. I would say a man who speaks briefly is closer to reason. When you meet a friend who hugs you, you drink less than a thousand glasses and say more than one word when you don't understand each other. Plus, if you are a person who can speak but do not speak, you lose a person. Plus, if you are a person who cannot speak, but do speak, you lose your words. A wise man does not lose a person, nor does he lose his words. The most important thing in communication is to listen to what the other person doesn't say. On Zion's robe, he said, after the person, there's the couple. After the couple, there's the father and son. After the father and son, there's the siblings. A family has three relatives. From this point on, to the entire family. Everyone has their own uncle's wrongdoings. Therefore, it's the most important foundation for good morals. So we must be close. Marriage is the beginning of good morals and the source of all blessings. Even if you're extremely close with a child, you must be extremely strict and refrain from doing so. Even if a kin has done something wrong, he can't cut ties with them. Friendships, even if they're wrong, can't lose their superiority. Those who don't know mankind have no religion. Treat your family as if you'll never see them again after today. First Prince said that. Brothers are like hands and feet. Couples are like jade. When something is torn, it can be put back together again. But moss is difficult in a place where a limb is cut off. A boundary is a branch that branches off from a single strand. Dong Po said, A man who keeps his distance from the rich and doesn't distance himself from the poor is a man in this world. Those who cling to the rich and stay away from the poor are the real villains in this world. When they're hungry, they cling to others. When they're full, they leave. When they're powerful, they run to them. When they're strong, they abandon them. This is the common flaw of human nature. A father is carefree because his children are dutiful. A husband is carefree because his wife is wise. If he talks too
too much and says too much, it's because he's drunk. If friendships are broken and friendships are torn apart, it's only because of money.